Well, getting tested for COVID has become a daily part for a lot of us. However, not all tests are the same, and there's already so much uncertainty in the world. You don't want to be unsure about the way your COVID test is being done or the results. Dr. Emily Volk, president of the College of American Pathologists, shared some advice on how to avoid scams and make sure your test is always done correctly. Dr. Volk, good morning. Good morning. Glad to have you here. This is a really great topic to talk about because much like Starbucks, COVID testing sites are everywhere and they're popping up everywhere. Where, what should we look for before deciding on where to get a COVID test? Well, you're gonna to wanna to know where that test is actually being analyzed. So what do I mean by that? I mean, when you're going to a drive-through testing site, you're gonna to wanna to ask the question, after they collect my test, who is going to do the analysis? And you wanna make sure that's going to an accredited laboratory. An accredited laboratory is a laboratory where they're going above and beyond to make sure that the results that they produce are the most accurate and the most reliable. These are laboratories typically overseen by pathologists, physicians who specialize in laboratory medicine. And again, these are laboratories that are dedicated to quality. Of course, with the advent of the at-home test, uh, we're able to get these results at home and take care of the testing for ourselves um, in the comfort of our own homes. What should we know before administering at at-home tests? Well, the thing to know about at-home tests is how important those instructions are. So before you start swabbing, uh, before you start opening up the liquid reagent that comes with the test, you're gonna wanna read those instructions carefully and follow them to the letter. You know, you're really running a clinical laboratory test at your kitchen counter, and it deserves the time, the attention, and respect of any other clinical laboratory test. That will help make sure you get the best possible result. Rapid tests and PCR tests, doctor, is one more accurate than the, than the other, or should we be getting both? You know, the thing about the rapid antigen test is the speed. Uh, that time that you save getting a rapid antigen test can be very important. The fact that you can run it at home, the convenience, also very important. But you've got to use those results with common sense. So if you get a negative test at home and you've got symptoms and you've been exposed to COVID-19, what you're going to want to do is go to an accredited laboratory and get that PCR test for confirmation. The PCR test is a little bit more accurate, a little bit more reliable than that rapid antigen test. And of course, always remember to take the precautions you need to stay safe while you're out and about from the coronavirus. Dr. Emily Volk, thank you so much. Thank you.